Hey guys, this is the Workos TS21 that I've got here for review. So this is uh, Workos's first um, triple using a TIR lens optic. Um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I highly recommend it uh, just straight off. Um, you know, you've got the uh, really nice sort of uh, spread of light as well as a uh, very good distance. Um, but yeah, we'll go over that in a second. Uh, so you've just got um, work across the standard uh, box here. You've got the USB type C uh, charging for the uh, USB um, charging port here. You've got uh, lanyard and two O rings. So yeah, you've got um, Comparing it to, to something I had before, which is the Sofern IF25A, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have one already, um, you can just tell it just looks way better. You know, you the both of them are using a 21700 battery. You know, this has got the magnetic tail cap. This one doesn't. This one has a nice clip, double-sided clip. This one doesn't. I mean, you can get one for it, but it doesn't fit properly. Um, so yeah, just oh, I'm I'm comparing the uh, this to the the 25A and the beam shots as well, uh, in case uh, some of you want to to be able to see how it does against it, uh, and just to have a look at the beam profile on it. Um, but yeah, both of them are using the Andro uh, firmware on it. Uh, version one, I would have much preferred to see them use the version two, just because you've got. Um, the simple UI which comes um, out of the box that's what's on it and then um, you've got the advanced UI uh, for those that want all the blinking settings and you know the config levels and uh, you know all the things that I really don't like to access by accident on the version one I, I would far rather everything hidden um, and then I can gift it to somebody um, and then it's just not going to be overwhelming for them. But um, I like it for myself. But um, if I was um, to gift it to somebody, I may pass and and give them um, a light that has the Android version two or a different UI altogether. Um, just like uh, Workos's standard UI that they have on something like the. Um, the FC11 um, that they that their old a bit older model of theirs, it's very popular. Um, but yeah, magnetic tail cap. Uh, just go over it. Uh, you've got a bit of annealing on the tail cap here for a bit of grip. Um, this lanyard attachment's quite sharp, so it could start cutting into your string. I've never used one, so it doesn't bug me. Um, you've got a double-ended clip. Uh, I wish it extended over the tail cap a bit um, or just flush to it just so it sits in your pocket better. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's um, my only thing I'd say really. Um, but yeah, you've got um, sort of d deep grooves for the um, providing a bit of grip here, quite smooth anodizing. So at least there's you know still decent grip on here. Uh, maybe not if your hands are a bit oily, um, yeah, but but yeah, so very sort of minimal fins on here. I wish there were, you know, it was decent fins, but it is using a 21700 battery, so, and it's, you know, it's quite compact, so there's not a whole lot to work with. Um, for this size, but I, I guess it's, it's better it being there than not. Um, but yeah, you've got the silver silver ring around the side switch. You've got an LED indicator in here um, that you can cycle from off, low, high, and uh, blinking through uh, seven clicks when it's off, or if you're in lockout mode, you can do three clicks to cycle them. Um, but yeah, so you've got your USB uh, charging here. Um, you've got your stainless steel bezel. Uh, it looks uh, just goes with the switch. It just makes it look so much nicer. Um, so well done uh, for Workos for designing this. I reckon they've done a very good job. 
So yeah, you've got the Luminous SST20s in 6500K. They will come out with the 4000 and 5000K versions of this. Um, one thing to notice, note on the 6500K is that there's quite a lot of green in the tint, even on turbo, it's quite noticeable. Um, but if you're wanting the highest output, the most lumens, then the cool white of 6500K 6, is going to be what you want. Um, the warmer the tint that you go for, the lower the lumens are going to be. That's just how it is. Um, on every um, on every LED out there, that's just that's just what it is. Um, but I would far rather sacrifice uh, output uh, for a nicer color, personally. Some people like 6500K, I more much prefer 5000 or, um, you know, 6000, I mean 4000K, sorry. Um, yeah, so, very nice uh, spread of beam, uh, which I love for an EDC light. Um, you know, if I'm wanting something that's going to reach far into the distance for a good duration of time, I'll go for a, a bigger light. Um, or something you know dedicated for throwing um, for range even though so this provides a decent amount of range on turbo I was able to see trees out to about 200 meters um, yeah and I like faintly see trees out to about 250 meters so um, that's pretty decent for a triple um, yeah so we've got uh, you got stepped ramping, uh, double click for turbo, and then three clicks, one, two, three, and then you've got the smooth ramping on this. Uh, four clicks, one, two, three, four. You've got uh, momentary um, moonlight in, in your lockout, and double click and hold, and you've got a second level, one, two, three, four. Um, then you've got three clicks, uh, yeah, three clicks, one, two, three. That's battery check. Uh, beacon, slightly dims over an hour and turns off. Um, beacon. That's temperature check. And you can, from temperature check, you can configure the, um, thermal sensor on it. I found that this one... Uh, was bang on straight out of the box uh, maybe they configured it or maybe um, they've changed something on the on the driver maybe to be accurate I'm not quite sure but that was a nice surprise I haven't found it on any model that I've had that used the Android firmware I've always had to configure it um, I have a, a video that goes in depth into explaining the Andro uh, version 1 firmware so I'll link that in the description for those that maybe have a lot with this on it or you know they can uh, if they're having a bit of trouble with it um, or just want to know in depth all the all the settings then uh, it's good to watch because uh, I obviously can't do it on here there's just too much um, so from off if we do uh, three clicks and on the third we'll, we'll hold um, and we'll go into the blinky levels. So that's candle light, uh, candle mode. So three clicks from here you can extend, um, you're going to enable a, a timer that it will turn off after um, the duration. So three clicks from here onto three will add 30 minutes and then an additional Every additional three clicks will add 30 minutes to the clock before it turns off. Otherwise, it will just stay on um, and, until you turn it off yourself. Uh, two clicks gets you um, bike flasher. Uh, that's um, party strobe. You can increase um, the speed and slow it down. So one thing I noticed is this has a very audible clicking noise. Um, I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not. I haven't heard it on any other other, other models. So, so I'll just slow the strobe down and speed it up and you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, it's very, very strange. So another double click will get you to tactical strobe. 
Double click from there gets you to uh, Lightning Storm. It's just a bit of fun, good with the diffuser on. Just very ra like random flashes of light. Double click for candle and then single click to get back to off. Um, yeah, there's like momentary mode, five clicks from off, gets you momentary. Uh, good for like uh, signaling, um, SOS and Morse code, etc. Um, but yeah, um, I'm highly in favor of this light. I, I, it's a very good performance. Uh, and gets uh, just over 3,100 lumens um, on turbo. Um, it doesn't last that long on turbo, about 30 seconds. When it's set at uh, 50 degrees Celsius thermal limit, you can increase or decrease that to what you like. Um, if you want a lot longer turbo run, if you don't mind it getting pretty toasty in your hand, you can increase that level. Um, but um, it doesn't take away anything from the light if you're wanting over 3,000 lumens from something so so compact then you get a get a bigger light um, it's very impressive I normally only activate turbo for probably 10 seconds if that for something so small normally I've got a small model like this um, for close range uh, anyway so um, to be able to it's it's a lot of, I hear a lot of people out there saying, oh, what's the point of having um, a turbo level that only lasts, you know, under a minute? Well, isn't it better to have access to those higher lumens than rate this at, you know, 1,000 lumens? Yeah, I'd far, I'd far rather have the extra output there, you know, just when I need it, um, than be stuck with something lower. But yeah, um, I'll move on to the beam shots, then i got some testing at the end. But yeah, thanks guys for watching.